Here's a few tips for tables in QGIS. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to use the yellow points layer I've got on screen, which is railway stations across Great Britain. So of course, first of all, I can open the table. The attribute table can be opened by pressing the F6 button like that by hitting the open attribute table button in the toolbar like that. Or of course you can right click and go to the bottom of the menu and hit, not bottom, sorry, middle and hit open attribute table. The bottom option obviously opens the layer properties, open attribute table. And some little things here, sometimes when the header text is too wide and you can't see it, you can drag it wider, but you can also when you hover over the line between two columns, if I double click there, it will automatically size to the correct width. So that's quite handy if you want to see it. Sometimes though, when you've got a large table, you have to scroll across and back to see the data you want. So let's imagine that I wanted the column for network rail region to be right beside the station name. Easy way to do that would be just to click on any column header with the right mouse button and go to organize columns and if I don't want some of these to appear I can untick them it's not going to remove them it just means they won't appear in the table so you've got loads of unnecessary fields you can untick them but I want to take the network rail region column and move it next to the station name so I can left click and just drag and drop it up the list and then you'll see a little black line which indicates where it's going to get dropped. So I'm holding the left mouse button down here and I'm going to let it go now. And if I click OK, when I scroll back to the left, I've got the network rail region for the station, uh, for the, each station right beside the station name column. So you can organize columns like that. Just remember it's a right click anywhere in a column name and then it's organized columns. You can also sort and do other things there. So that's quite useful. And one thing people sometimes freak out about and don't know how to fix is when their table looks like this. It's really not that obvious, but in the bottom right of an attribute table in QGIS, there's a couple of little buttons. One turns on table view, and one is the one I've got pressed at the moment, which is form view. So these are just two different views of your data. In form view, you see the name of all the stations or features down the left, and in this case it's stations, and in the right, you'll see the attributes. And sometimes people do this by mistake, don't know how to get it back. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna turn it back to table view. There's also a button in the bottom left. By default, it should say show all features, but you can choose just to show selected features. Or there's a number of different things there you can explore in your own time. So that's where you can do lots of interesting filtering, for example. Okay, so that's a few tips about tables. Hopefully you'll find that useful and particularly the table view and form view and the reorganizing columns one.